So I want to start uh, a little bit about the origins of the show. Mindy, I want, I want to start with you. We all loved you on The Office. We loved Kelly. And uh, so can you talk about uh, leaving The Office, starting this show? Was it, was it difficult for you? I mean, can you kind of talk about that process and kind of assembling this great cast we see on stage? So many different things to talk about. Yeah, okay, <laughs> sure. Okay, I'll, uh, assembling the cast, what it was like on The Office, what it was like to leave The Office, Start wherever you would like to start. I'll take like half of it. Do you take half of it? Tell me, tell them, tell them what it was like. Office. <laughs> um, well, um, leaving the office was so hard because I'd been there for eight years and it really felt like going to college twice. I was there so often. So I knew everyone there so well, which is why so many of them come on the show. Ellie and Ed and BJ. Um, most likely some other people too, because it was just too hard to say goodbye to them. Um, but I'm going to go back to shoot the finale in a couple days, which is really exciting. Um, Aww, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, finale. That's appropriate, that is yeah. good. Um, and, um, and by the way, I just read the pages. It's an amazing episode of television. That's great. Yes. Once you shoot it, I don't yeah. want to talk about The Office anymore. Okay. Got <laughs> <laughs> it, got it. Got it. Um, <laughs> and uh, so, th so that was, it was hard to leave there. Um, but then what was the second part of the question? I think it was what? about your childhood, <laughs> and your family's history. Um, Can you talk a little about the Mindy Project, the, the creation of it, the inspiration for Mindy Lahiri? Um, where, when you first sat down and said, I, I wanted to write my own show, um, what did you want to do? Well, you know, I was trained to be a comedy writer from Greg Daniels at the office. So I learned how to write jokes and this, you know, the style of, you know, writing hard jokes for things from him, Mike Schur, BJ Novak, Paul Lieberstein, who were all there the first season. But it wasn't necessarily my style. Like I learned to love the office and it's kind of unglamorousness. Like that's the truth of it. The truth of what was beautiful about the show is how truthful it was and how unglamorous it was. But I love wearing nine bracelets <laughs> and wearing sequins and kissing guys and living in New York City and having disposable income like that. My personality. Kissing guys. So, and so like with the show I wanted to do something that was in a little bit like a little bit more my organic interests before I started the office. But taking some of the same values which is like hard comedy, um, like a great love story, you know, the Jim and Pam and just a really deep bench of actors. And um, yeah, and that's what I got, so I'm pretty happy. Why did you decide to make her a gynecologist and set it the workplace comedy in an office environment, a doctor's office this time? I said in an office because that's kind of what I knew. Sure. But um, <laughs> um, in OBGYN was because my mother was in OBGYN, and she was a very fun, glamorous person who interacted, had great stories. Um, and great, really fun stories, and I knew it just, I'd, you know, being raised by her, I knew how unpredictable the hours were, and it just seemed like a fun environment, and I get to interact a lot with women, so it seemed like that would be fun. Yeah, yeah. And now, Ike, you kind of have an interesting story joining the cast, too, because you started on the show as a writer, correct? Yes, I did. So yeah. how did you transfer from writer to... Well, when I, when I met her, um, she said, like, oh, I want to put you on the show. That's how she talked. You should be on the show. <laughs> and, and like, I'll figure out something for you to do in the show. And I felt like I would be like the, the kindly janitor you would see every fifth episode, you know? <laughs> but then like the first day she's like, okay, so I wrote you the scene. And you don't mind if I do this. It's, it sounds like. It's very insulting. It's, you could, all right, all right. It sounds like her. Um, <laughs> and she wrote, I read this, these sides um, and I thought they were so funny and this character she created was so ridiculous and he was in jail for stealing cars. I fell in love with it and she didn't make me audition for it, <laughs> jump through a bunch of hoops or clean her house or, you know. It's just, almost too easy, Matt, now I'm thinking of that. Should we do auditions now? Yes. Well, 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 it's great. I, okay, if, if that's the case, I will crush whoever I go up against because I, I know believe the that. So. We had seen him on Eastbound and Down. We, we, I we was talked fully about convinced him. he was Russian. We thought he was Russian with yeah. a mullet. And we... I, I actually am Russian. This is my American accent. <laughs> you do a little bit of Ivan Dechenko. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it is good to be here at Paley Center for, uh, <laughs> for a TV show. I like, I like the Mindy Project because she is plucky. <laughs> <laughs> she is plucky Indian girl, and I enjoy watching her foibles. <laughs> so, I think, 
That's what he would say. <laughs> but yeah, so then she just kind of gave me the part and it, it was just fun to write for that character, I think, in the writer's room. And then interacting with these lunatics was just it, <laughs> so fun, so fun. Dream job. Yeah. Dream job. Mindy, you were just not going to let him go without being on, sta on screen. Yes, and we couldn't contain him in the writer's room, we'll be yes. honest. It was, it was <laughs> bigger than any one room. This is this, this room. This room can hold me. It was really a way for me to get out of the writer's room, <laughs> I think. You're kind of a golden retriever in the writer's room, like a wild yeah. golden retriever that knocks things over. Yeah, I'm like a dog. Yeah. <laughs> How am I the mean one? Did you hear that impression? I, of I, I think you're more like a human than a dog. <laughs> oh, point Warburton. <laughs>